to this day. 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 What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Get this. Deontay Wilder hopes to revive a 100 million pound Joshua fight and says September blockbuster at Wembley turns me on. <laughs> the American blew his 100 million dollar or million pound deal to face AJ in Saudi Arabia in March following a shock defeat to Joseph Parker. That was actually in uh, December, okay? And Joshua is now primed for a UK homecoming bout in September at Wembley at the door remains open for the opponent. And Wilder hopes to redeem himself so he can put years of rivalry to bed by finally sharing the ring with his great British rival. He told Sportsbook Review, he said, F yeah, it turns me on. I've been in situations like that when I fought the gold medalist in Moscow. We were right there in the lion's den. When you come out into an arena with nothing but Russians and you can feel the, breath, the breath coming off their mouths, Russia, 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 and you can feel the wind off their breath reaching the spikes of your hair, your neck hair, as you walk in knowing you have got nobody there to represent you, you are behind enemy lines and you get a great adrenaline rush. That's an amazing feeling, so I have no problem coming to London. It would be amazing for me, but the only thing that would be different in coming to Russia than the UK is I actually have major fans in the UK and I think they're going to show up and represent me even though I'm fighting their country man. Hmm. Okay. Um, those are the words of Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder and let me counterpunch. Well, uh, for one, uh, the Olympics, the Russian fighter, I, I think it's Romanov Evgeny. I believe that's who he was talking about. And they were saying Russia, Russia, Russian and gave him an adrenaline rush. Obviously, the adrenaline rush wasn't enough because he was stopped by Evgeny. <laughs> right? That's what happened. If that's who he's talking about. I mean, he didn't specify who it was. But, okay, um, him saying that UK fans will show up to support me. Well, what's the importance of the adrenaline rush? Will that be enough? Will the fans that come out to support you give you that same amount of adrenaline that people are against, or everybody against you uh, will give you? Because, I mean, it didn't help you before, so that's a bad example. You know what I mean? Because he got stopped by him. He got dropped. And yeah, that right hand was hitting him all night because um, Romanov Evgeny was definitely coming at him. And I don't know where the hell he is. He's like in his 30s also. And he has like 15 pro fights. But anyway, <clears throat> um, I think Wilder at this point, it's safe to know or to understand that Wilder don't want an Anderson fight. That's what Turkey wants. Jo Wilder don't want that. Wilder wants Joshua. And he's trying to revive a hundred million uh, pound deal. I don't think he's going to get that much. Let's just be real. They're not champions no more. And I think the, the, the deal, I hope he does, but it's not realistic. Just based on the fact that, okay, the zone offered you 120 million or whatever million to fight your mandatory and then Joshua twice. You turned it down. You allowed your advisor, your manager, your supervisor, not your promoter, to not fight. Okay? Turn the deal down into what it is. Then, <clears throat> less than a year later, he gets beat by the WBC, never to retain it again anyway. Okay? That's the facts. Yeah, Joshua got beat before he did. So, you know, that happened. But... Him wanting $100 million for this fight, I mean, it would be ideal for him, you know. Um, but why would he expect that amount of money? Why by beating Zhang? You know, I mean, I don't really understand that because Zhang is not a high market fighter. The only high market fighters are the champions and Anthony Joshua. That's pretty much all the, like, 
you can't generate any really, there's no other opponents that makes that type of money. So I guess if it could be anybody, it would be Joshua, but why would they give a hundred million to Wilder? Hell, maybe a hundred million to Joshua, not Wilder. Wilder would be lucky to get half that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, oh, well, you know what I mean? What about the 50 million that they always talk about in defense of Wilder offering Joshua? I think that's what he should ask for if that was just that, that so much of money, which it is, by the way, but $50 million, you know, uh, I think that's what he should ask for instead of a hundred million, you know, because people can argue that maybe Wilder's trying to price himself out, you know what I mean? Or trying to cash himself out. You know, who knows? Greed is a hell of a thing, but I think him with his ambition, that fight turns me on and you will, but you want a hundred million pounds to do that, which that deal is better than the deal that they offered him in 19, which I could understand if he gets it. Even if he gets 50 million, that's, that's better because you're fighting one night instead of a few fights. But understand this with Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder has to get past Zane. And the more he talks about AJ and the possibility of fighting him at, him at Wembley, I think the current game plan gets that much weaker and unfocused simply because you're not focused at the task at hand. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Deontay Wilder hoping for a showdown with Anthony Joshua and get a hundred million pound deal once again look similar to how he was offered before by Turkey Alashik. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.